Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to share with you guys a cool addition extension to your Google Classroom. And all you have to do is go to Screencastify and download or install the Chrome extension. And while it's recording, I'm able to do some drawings, which means you can do some instruction with your students. And you can change the color. You can also erase a little bit or erase the whole thing. So Screencastify is a great tool that you can use. I feel like it's very efficient because usually when I record videos, I usually use QuickTime and it would take a little while to download and then I would have to drag the file into my Google Classroom. Well, now with Screencastify, as soon as I make this video, I can post it right away with a click of a button. So I've already made a video and I'll let you listen to it. Hi class, what did you do over this long spring break? So I created this video. I want to make a, a quick little assignment that I want to post to my Google Classroom. So all I have to do now is over here on the right side, you see a bunch of platforms that I can share. I could also copy a shareable link if I wanted to, if I wanted to just email it. But I'm going to share it to Google Classroom and I'm going to click there. So once you choose your correct Google account, I'm going to put it into my YouTube class. And then I'm going to choose an action. This is where it's going to be really efficient using Screencastify with Google Classroom because now I'm going to choose an action and I already said I was going to create a question. So I'm going to do that or I could do any of these other options. And we'll click go. And then it looks familiar, right? I'm going to say, how was spring break? And again, you can make sure that all students are selected or specific students if you'd like. But I want all my students to answer this question. And I'm going to say watch video. And then materials is the, the video that I just created. And then for points, I'm not going to use points for this one. So it's going to be ungraded. And then I want to make sure that students can't reply to each other, but you can also. It's your choice. And then I'm going to make sure that students can edit because just in case they wanted to add more later on and then click ask. And then it says you have posted to your class. I'm going to just close this out and I already had Google Classroom open and I'm just going to hit refresh. And there it is. How was spring break? Now, if you wanted to organize it a little bit more, you could change this right here under topic you can create a new topic if you want i'm going to use this as eru 2001 videos and i'm going to click save as you can see it moved from the feed or stream or timeline whichever one you want to call it up here and now it's under a new heading called Eru 2001 videos. So anytime I make videos, I could just put it right in here. I just have to remember to put it in the right topic. Well, I hope you found this useful. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.